Hi everyone, in a systematic project risk management there are several steps. After uh, establishing the project context, we should identify risks and it is followed by a quantitative or qualitative risk analysis. For quantitative risk analysis, there are several tools and techniques. At risk is a very useful tool to conduct uh, such analysis. In this short video, I will demonstrate the first step in using at risk which is creating the model logic although at risk is a very user friendly software the manual is very long more than 900 pages so i decided to record this video to show you the main features and capabilities of at risk in this example we have two investment projects and uh, there are some uncertain input variables in both of these so at risk can be a very good help to make an informed decision about uh, choosing which project is a better option to invest in. As you can see, discount rate is the same for the two projects, 12%, but there are some uncertain input variables such as setup cost, annual revenue and annual expenses. As you can see, they follow a triangular distribution. For example, setup cost for uh, project one uh, can range between $230,000 to $290,000 per year with the most likely value of $250,000. We want to compare two performance measures of NPV, net present value, and IRR, internal rate of return, over the five years for the two projects to find out which one is a better option. Again, at risk can accommodate that um, calculation about certainty for these two projects. Let's start the first step of making uh, the model logic. At the beginning of the project, the setup cost for project one is $250,000. And the revenue is equal to zero at the beginning of the project. The cash flow is simply the difference between revenue and setup cost, which is a negative value for the first year. In, uh, in the year after that, revenue is equal to $188,000 and the expense will be $93,000. Again, the cash flow is the difference between revenue and expense which is a positive value this time. So it should be the difference between revenue and expense. There you go. The values are the same for five years of this project. So we simply copy them in Excel expenses for five years and cash flow will be the same for year one to year five let's have a look on second project the setup cost is 148 thousand dollars and the revenue is equal to zero at the beginning so the cash flow will be a negative value difference between revenue and set cost In the first year, we don't have any setup cost anymore, but revenue is $161,000 and the expense is $102,000. So the cash flow is the difference between the two. We have revenue minus revenue minus expense there you go and I will copy all these for five years Okay, 
This was uh, about calculations of uh, discounted cash flow for the two projects. Now we need to calculate some output or performance measure. NPV is the net present value. So we bring all the spendings and also uh, revenues to the time being. We can use a, an Excel function for this purpose. If you search for net uh, present value, NPV comes to top of the list. Okay. It asks for a rate, which is simply your discount rate, 12% in this example, and values, which are positive cash flows in years 1 to 5. Okay. The MPV also includes the negative cash flow for the beginning of the project. So we should add the negative value uh, to MPV. Uh, let's do that. We can add this negative 250,000 to our MPV and enter. So the MPV will be equal to $92,000. For the second project, we have the same process. So I use NPV and the function is here. So let me use the Excel function for this purpose. NPV is top of the list. Okay. And the rate is N 12%. The values are positive cash flows for year one to five. Okay. And then we need to add the negative cash flow for the first year. So we simply add $148,000 to that one. And it's a negative value so when you compare the mpvs for the two projects you will see that project one is a better option for investment but now let's have a look on internal rate of return again use the excel functions for this one if you search for internal rate it comes to top of the list you select it okay and the values are all cash flows from the time being until end of year 5 enter and enter it's 26 percent this internal rate of return is the discount rate that gives you a net present value of zero for this project it is equal to 26 percent for the second project again we use the excel function and irr is on top of the list Okay, so values are all cash flows from the time being until end of year 5. Don't worry about the guess. Excel will take care of that and you press OK. It's 28%. So surprisingly, project 2 is a better option in terms of internal rate of return. And project 1 is a better option in terms of net present value. We will I continue our analysis about this project in the next steps this step was about developing the model logic in the next video i will cover steps two and three about defining outputs and inputs thank you